Hey there everyone, hope things are going well for you. This week I'm bringing you another 5 games that are fully playable on the PlayStation 3 emulator RPCS3. Now when I say these games are fully playable, I mean that these games can be played start to finish without any major issues. There are a few minor issues here and there which I'll address as we go along, but most of them can be fixed. You'll find timestamps and optimal settings for each game down in the description, as well as links to the RPCS3 website and Patreon page. I highly recommend supporting this project if you can. Anyway, without wasting any more time, let's jump in. First up we have Persona 5. Now this game's been running great for over a year now, so it's kind of old news, but it wouldn't feel right talking about RPCS3 compatibility without talking about Persona. There are a few minor graphical issues in this game, the worst offender being the seams that appear on character portraits during dialogue. I don't usually run patches or mods during these videos, but I am using a patch that fixes this issue for the most part. You can see just what a difference it makes here. I'll have a video up soon that covers how to patch and mod your games, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. Next up is Ninja Gaiden Sigma. This game runs perfectly as far as I can tell minus a few flashes and flickers here and there. Otherwise, this game only suffers from the same issue as the PS3 version, in that it's f***ing hard, man. I forgot just how quick and calculated the combat is in this game, and just how brutal and unforgiving the bosses are. I don't think it's quite as frustrating as the Soul series, but it's up there for sure. So if you like a good challenge, I definitely recommend playing this one, especially since it runs so smoothly on this emulator. The third game on this list is Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. Now, full disclosure on this one, it probably falls just short of meeting RPCS3's definition of fully playable, and as such, it is listed as in-game on their website at the time that this video was made. The reason for this is likely because it does hang up and crash on occasion, however between the infrequency of these crashes and the frequency of autosaves, this game can be completed without any major headaches. It's also worth mentioning I did notice some frame rate drops, but nothing that seemed to affect performance. Lower end systems might be impacted a little bit more. And now we're on to one of my favorite fighting games, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle. If you're at all familiar with the series, then you know just how over the top and, well, bizarre it can be. And this game is par for the course. The characters are absurdly flamboyant, the special moves are spectacular, and there are enough ways to spice up the fights that it has plenty of replay value. The only issue with this game is some choppy audio, and that can be fixed by turning audio buffering off. Every now and then the sound will still get a little bit distorted, but that can be fixed simply by pausing and unpausing the emulation. And last up, is near. This is another one that's been playable for quite some time, but I feel a bit obligated to include it. Near runs great, although it has the same graphical issues as Dragon Guard 3, which I covered in a previous video. They can all be fixed by tweaking a few settings such as anisotropic filtering and the resolution scale threshold. Again, you'll find the specific settings down in the description. And that's another 5 PlayStation 3 games you can play on your PC through RPCS3. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll keep them coming. Thanks for watching, and take care.